Hello viewers, and welcome back to another video on this channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Dr. Noor. I'm a board-certified internal medicine specialist practicing in the United States. And in my spare time, I love creating informative videos on health, wellness, and skin-related topics, especially ones that impact your daily life in ways you might not even realize. Over the past few weeks, I've covered various essential vitamins that affect your skin and internal health. We've already talked about vitamin A and vitamin C. Then, in the last video, we dived deep into vitamin D, its powerful connection to bone health, mental well-being, and glowing skin. If you haven't watched those videos yet, I'll leave the links in the description box below. I can tell you honestly, there's a lot of valuable information in there that you shouldn't miss. So today, in the same series, we're talking about a highly underestimated but incredibly important nutrient, vitamin B12. Most people have heard of it, but few understand how important it really is. In today's video, I'm going to explain what exactly vitamin B12 is, why it matters for your skin, brain, hair, and energy, what happens when you don't get enough of it, how to know if you have a deficiency, and how to fix it safely and effectively. Let's begin. Section 1. What is vitamin B12? Vitamin B12, also called cobalamin, is a water-soluble vitamin. This means your body doesn't store large amounts of it, and you need a regular supply through diet or supplements. Now, what does it actually do? Vitamin B12 is essential for red blood cell formation, DNA synthesis, nerve function, brain and cognitive health, and, very importantly, energy metabolism. Without B12, your body literally cannot make healthy blood cells. Your nerves won't work properly, and your skin, hair, mood, and energy levels will all begin to suffer. Section 2. Why is vitamin B12? so important for skin and hair. You might think B12 is just about energy or nerves, but your skin and hair actually depend on it in very powerful ways. Here's how. Skin regeneration. Your skin cells regenerate quickly, roughly every 28 days. This regeneration process needs DNA synthesis and oxygen, both of which rely heavily on vitamin B12. Without enough of it, your skin may appear pale, dull, or irritated. Pigmentation and hyperpigmentation. Some people with vitamin B12 deficiency develop melasma-like hyperpigmentation, especially on the face and hands. It's often mistaken for sun damage, but is actually linked to B12 levels, eczema, and dryness. Though not always, some studies suggest that vitamin B12 can help reduce inflammation in the skin, especially in conditions like eczema or dermatitis. Hair health. A deficiency may lead to premature graying, increased hair fall, or weakened strands. B12 plays a critical role in delivering oxygen to your hair follicles. When oxygen is lacking, so is hair growth. So, if you're struggling with unexplained skin discoloration, dryness, or thinning hair, your B12 status might be a missing piece of the puzzle. Section 3. Who is at risk for vitamin B12 deficiency? Now you might be wondering, how do I even become deficient in B12? Here are the most common groups at risk, vegetarians and vegans. B12 is found naturally only in animal products, meat, fish, dairy, eggs, if you follow a strict vegetarian or vegan diet and aren't supplementing, you're likely at risk. People over 50, as we age, our stomach produces less acid, reducing our ability to absorb B12 from food. Those with digestive issues, conditions like gastritis, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, or those who've had bariatric surgery may have absorption issues. People on certain medications, long-term use of metformin for diabetes, and proton pump inhibitors like omeprazole for acid reflux can impair B12 absorption. Pregnant and breastfeeding women, their bodies require more nutrients, including B12. 
smokers, and heavy drinkers. Smoking interferes with B12 metabolism. Alcohol can irritate the stomach lining and hinder absorption. Section 4, Signs and Symptoms of B12 Deficiency. Vitamin B12 deficiency can sneak up on you. The signs are often nonspecific and easy to overlook. Here are the most common ones. Fatigue, tiredness, weakness, pale or yellowish skin due to anemia, shortness of breath, tingling or numbness in hands and feet, nerve damage, mood swings or depression, brain fog, memory problems, mouth ulcers or swollen tongue, vision problems, hair fall or premature gray hair, hyperpigmentation or dry inflamed skin. If left untreated for a long time, B12 deficiency can even lead to permanent nerve damage and irreversible brain issues. Section 5, How to Diagnose B12 Deficiency. So how do you know if you're deficient? The most reliable way is a blood test. Ask your doctor for serum, vitamin B, 12-level methylmalonic acid, MMA, homocysteine. These markers, when elevated, point toward a deficiency, even if your B12 level looks normal. Generally, 200 pg per milliliter, two, deficient, 200 to 400 pg per milliliter, borderline 400 plus pg per milliliter, healthy range. Section six, how to treat B12 deficiency. Once you're diagnosed, treatment is usually straightforward. Mild deficiency, oral supplements work well. Look for methylcobalamin or cyanocobalamin forms. Typical doses range from 500 micrograms to 2,000 micrograms daily. Severe deficiency or absorption issues. You may need injections, usually once weekly, for four to six weeks, then monthly. Dietary improvements include more animal proteins like eggs, dairy, chicken, liver, shellfish, and fish. For vegetarians, fortified cereals and plant-based milks help. Monitor your levels. Retest your blood every three to six months during treatment. Section seven, B12 and mental health, the depression link. Did you know that low B12 is directly linked to depression and cognitive decline? Here's what science tells us. B12 helps produce serotonin, the feel-good hormone. Without it, your mood regulation gets disrupted. Studies show that low B12 increases the risk of depression, memory loss, and even dementia in the elderly. So sometimes, what feels like an emotional or psychiatric issue may actually be a biochemical imbalance in nutrients like B12. Section 8, Common Myths About Vitamin B12. Let's bust a few myths quickly. Myth 1, only old people get B12 deficiency. Reality, young adults, teens, and even kids on restricted diets can develop it. Myth two, you can get enough B12 from plants. Reality, B12 does not naturally occur in plants. Fortified foods or supplements are essential for vegans. Myth three, energy drinks solve B12 deficiency. Reality, most energy drinks contain a small amount of synthetic B12, not enough to correct a real deficiency. Section nine, should you take a B12 supplement daily? If you're in a risk group, vegetarian, older adult, someone with gut issues, it might make sense to take a low-dose supplement daily or weekly, even if you don't have symptoms yet. B12 is water-soluble, meaning your body excretes the extra, so it's safe to supplement as long as you don't go overboard. Section 10, final thoughts plus takeaway tips. Let's summarize what we've learned. Vitamin B12 is essential for your skin, energy, hair, brain, and nerves. Many people are unknowingly deficient. Even in sunny countries, you can prevent deficiency through diet, supplements, and awareness. If you're feeling tired, moody, 
forgetful, or seeing skin changes, get tested. My final tip, if you're at risk or symptomatic, please consult your doctor. A simple test and supplement plan can make a huge difference in your energy and appearance. I hope this video has helped you understand why vitamin B12 is so crucial for your overall health and skin. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Do you have questions about your own symptoms? Let me know in the comments. I always read them and I'll try to answer as many as I can or make a follow-up video. Until next time, stay healthy, stay radiant, and keep learning about your body. Take care and see you in the next video. Bye.